A mysterious large flat top has been spotted at a shipyard in southeastern China. The vessel does not look like any other ship that China is developing, indicating that the country may be working on an entirely new design and class of vessel. An example of an entirely new class of Chinese vessel with a large open flight deck has emerged at a shipyard in the southeastern end of the country. From what can be seen in satellite imagery, the ship has features in line with a light aircraft carrier or a big deck amphibious assault ship. The vessel, which appears to have been built very quickly, has features in line with an amphibious assault ship or small carrier. Overall, the ship's size and what can be seen of its configuration are in line. At least in broad strokes, with many existing light aircraft carriers and big deck amphibious assault ships, such as Japan's Huga class and China's own Type 075. It is certainly no secret that the PLA Navy's fleets have been growing substantially in recent years and continue to do so on the back of the country's substantial shipbuilding capacity. Work to expand the size and scope of the PLA Navy's battle force includes the production of new aircraft carriers. Large amphibious assault ships, advanced submarines, and more modern surface combatants. Fukien. China's first catapult-assisted takeoff, but arrested recovery configured carrier and the first example of a new uniquely large big deck amphibious ship that also features a catapult. Commonly known as the Type 076, a prime important of the new naval capabilities the country has on the immediate horizon. The emergence of this new vessel is significant as it comes at a time when the PLA Navy is making huge strides in expanding maritime capability by leveraging its incredible shipbuilding capacity. China has been producing state-of-the-art aircraft carriers, destroyers, amphibious landing vessels, and dedicated drone carriers, demonstrating a scale of expansion not seen before in history. A new class of light aircraft carrier, amphibious assault ship, or even a sea-based type vessel could offer the PLA Navy valuable additional operational capacity. A simpler design built more to commercial standards, and with an air component centered on crewed helicopters and drones, could also make a lot of sense for supporting certain missions. This might include presence operations, particularly in and around the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea. Such a ship could be useful for supporting anti-submarine warfare and amphibious operations too. Just being able to build these ships at an additional shipyard could help the PLA Navy further accelerate its expansion of naval aviation and other capabilities. According to some reports, the construction of the fourth Chinese aircraft carrier has also started in earnest. The yet-to-be-named 110,000-ton supercarrier Type 004 is allegedly planned to be larger than Type 003 and feature nuclear propulsion, an integrated electric system, laser weapons, and rail guns. China's aircraft carriers are crucial for its ambition of a blue water navy, which would allow it to project power in far-off seas and give the United States stiff competition. In addition to these heavy carriers, China is also constructing an amphibious assault ship, known as Type 076, which will succeed the Type 075 in the future and is equipped with advanced technology. The vessel was, in fact, recently spotted with two island superstructures. With a flight deck measuring approximately 260 meters by 52 meters, the Type 076 is set to become the largest amphibious assault ship in the world. This ship is unique in the way that it features a unique catamaran hull design, which offers a larger deck area. Some military watches believe that this could be a dedicated drone carrier. All these platforms are part of PLA Navy's plan of readying a blue water navy. Additionally, China is rapidly expanding its shipbuilding capacity. Beijing plans to use the PLA Navy to project dominance in the far seas and maintain control over the near seas as part of its future strategy. At the same time, there may also be another uniquely Chinese explanation behind the appearance of the new vessel with its large flight deck in Guangzhou. Since at least 2022, a screenshot said to be from a Chinese government tender has been floating around the internet. A machine translation of its Chinese language text shows a call for a large-scale special deck operation ship. For maritime survey and other test research activities with some kind of flight deck featuring a double island superstructure. There is also a demand for a through-type straight deck and a dock compartment at the stern, which could refer to a floodable well deck like those found on many amphibious warfare ships. Stated requirements include that the vessel be 200 meters long, 
Have a flight deck 25 meters wide. Have a displacement of 15,000 tons. Be capable of hitting a top speed of at least 16 knots. Have a range of 5,000 nautical miles at a cruising speed of 12 knots, and a maximum at sea endurance of 40 days. The provenance of this apparent tender is unclear and, at the time of writing, neither CNAS Shugard nor the Warzone has been able to readily verify its source independently. Still, some Chinese netizens have taken this in the past to be evidence of potential plans for an ostensibly civilian oceanographic research carrier. The lines between civilian and military assets in China, especially when it comes to the maritime domain, are often at best blurry. A non-military vessel configured like an amphibious assault ship something no country in the world currently operates would be able to employ aerial drones and crewed helicopters. And watercraft crewed and uncrewed to conduct scientific or other civilian missions. At the same time, it would inherently be capable of serving as a dual-use platform to support military missions like those previously described if called upon. Another possibility could be that whatever is being built in Guangzhou is some kind of bespoke military training and or test platform. The Chinese already have a number of unusual naval platforms, including ones capable of launching and recovering vertical takeoff and landing capable drones, primarily designed to fulfill such roles. Earlier this year, Naval News reported on the appearance of what looks be another SIG ship at the Jiangsu Dayang Marine Shipyard near Shanghai. The vessel in question, which is around 328 feet 100 meters long and has an open flight deck on top, was spotted alongside two catamaran drone mini carriers that the war zone was the first to report on in detail. CNAS's Shugard told the war zone that the big deck vessel under construction at GSI looked too large, in his opinion, to have a similar test and or training role. Given the speed with which the large deck ship looks to be being constructed in Guangzhou, it may not be long before a fuller picture of its configuration and intended purpose now emerges.